This is the plaintiff, Nina. She says she worked as a yoga instructor at the defendant's studio and wasn't paid for her services. She also took training classes and later found out the instructor wasn't certified and the training turned out to be useless. She can't get her training certificate. The woman is running a scam and she's here suing her for every penny of the $3,375 she's owed. This is the defendant, Geraldine McPherson. She says she offered the plaintiff the tools and training she needed to become a bar-certified yoga instructor. The plaintiff ended up quitting before she completed the required 200 hours of training. She has no obligation to give her a refund, and if anyone was left high and dry here, it certainly wasn't the plaintiff. She's accused of not being certified. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $5,000 for a breach of contract. All parties, please get your ready. See you in court, please. Let against have been sworn, Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, in. Nina, you found these folks how? On Craigslist? On Craigslist, yes. And what is it you were looking for? Um, I was looking for, like, a, a certification that would help me um, start my fitness career. Okay, mm -hmm. so they had a program where if you paid a certain amount of money and taught a certain amount of classes in order to pay down that money, that you would in the end then be certified by? Are they the certifying entity? How does that work? Is there like a national association of something? Or? Our studio um, is affiliated with Yoga Alliance. It's a nonprofit, uh, overarching, sort of sets the standard for yoga teachers, but not all yoga studios have to abide or subscribe to that, but we do voluntarily, and, um, but we certify the teacher, and then if she chooses to register with them, then she could teach anywhere they're recognized. She pr okay. probably could. Okay, so hold on one second. Have you given out certifications to stu to people yes. who have before her? Is she the first person you ever handled? No. Okay. How many have you given out before her? Gosh, I don't know. I want to say at least maybe up to 100. Okay. And there's never been a problem, Yoga Alliance? Never. Is, all right. Never. So, so what exactly is the program that you, that you bought into? Um, so I uh, started with a bar um, and then... Uh, so bar is separate from yoga? Yes, it is. Bar, B-A-R-R-E. Yes. And that's a bar class is a... Um, I've done them. Um, <laughs> I just know that I can barely walk out on noodles <laughs> right. afterwards. But it, 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 there, the bar is involved that you hold on to, yes. and then it's very, very intense. Yes. <laughs> Tiny movements. You don't even look like you're doing anything, and you're dying. Okay. Um, so you were going to get certified for both, that yes. and yoga. Mm -hmm. All right. What was that going to cost you? Um, together, uh, the bar was going to cost twelve fifty, and the yoga was going to cost um, $3,200. Okay. And now explain to me the part about where you have to pay if you don't teach. So in the contract, it states that um, we can make up, we can also work off the hours. Uh, so instead so of I'm... having to pay twelve fifty plus thirty two hundred, you could work. Yes, I specifically chose that program because it was a work study program. Okay. Um, and I was going to work off um, all the hours at sixteen dollars an hour. Or. Or pay. Or pay. Yes. So you started to get into problems when you got a full-time job elsewhere. What were you doing in the full-time job elsewhere? Uh, that was also teaching bar uh, and other fitness classes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how were you qualified to teach that if you still weren't done getting certified? She how do I know if my person is certified well, she, or not? So she was. She completed the training. She was she For did, what? She, for both yoga and bar. So then what was she still working towards? She was working to pay them off. She didn't pay out of pocket. She didn't give me $4,400. Where if she, she had, she would have gotten her certification. And, and been on her way. All right. And then what went wrong? She's, she's, she, from the very beginning, she started flip-flopping, and you'll have um, emails to reveal that. Like, she said, I want to work two days a week. Your first request was, I'd like to split it up? Yes. Okay, yes. so were the two it's, days approved? It's true. I said, okay, you could have two shifts a week. And then what happens? And then I get that job, and um, I talked to Carolyn. At first, I'm paying them off. I told her I would pay for all the Thursdays of the month. Did she agree to that? Yes, she okay. did. And that's actually in the contract as an it, option. It is, right. right. Okay, so mm -hmm. go ahead. Um, so I heard that she had sued five people um, for not finishing out their contracts. Um, and that So you decided not to finish up yours? No, um, oh. I had heard that she, one okay. of them had proved in court that, um, that it was not in accordance with yoga standard, uh, yoga alliance standards. Are you prepared to prove that won. now? 
I am. Okay, how yes. are you gonna prove that? The teachers that we were training with had graduated right before we had started. Um, so they, under Yoga Alliance standards, they are not qualified to teach us. Um, I have the Yoga Alliance standards here. Okay. Spirit of the standard it is taught by yoga, yoga teacher trainers who are qualified to train teachers. And it says a minimum of 500 hours teaching experience or two years of relevant experience. How in are you going to prove teach. that the people who trained you didn't have that? I have their resumes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Show me their resume. Sure. Come okay. over here. Yeah, sure. Come sure. over here with the document. Let's do it this way. Show me what I'm supposed to see here. So, so this is his experience as a yoga teacher uh, during, the, he was, during the time he was at the studio. And over here is just his other experience. So he worked as, at Karma, Karma Yogi as a work study. Okay. And, and then he was a server before that. So. Okay. But go ahead and go back. Okay. So I'm going to show you that. And I need you to kind of explain to me why, I, to answer it, I guess. His resume is up somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then July 17th. By the way, when did you start with them? I started my training in January, my of bar training. Of what year? Of 2018. Okay, so how do you know that between July of 2017 and January, what's your evidence that he didn't get have 500 I, I don't have an evidence right. like that prepared, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, when did this guy get his 500 hours, between July and January? Or was He's there... been teaching. He has, he has did he teach before he got to you? He was he was um, he was interning somewhere else. He was okay. So the, do the work study hours count as teaching? Sure, absolutely. For the five hundred hours, absolutely, because they're and teaching. And you say they don't, right? But they do. Where do you get that that they don't, or you um, don't know? I mean, if I had thought to prepare that, um, I okay. Well, but I mean, <laughs> you're the you have to prove to me that yes. she's doing something wrong, and then yes. you get your money back. Because uh -huh. otherwise, she's going to prove to me that you're doing something wrong. Yes. You got busy. Uh -huh. You don't want to finish your contract, and you owe her money. Yes. That's where we are mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now, what other evidence do you have that mm -hmm. she is violating? You said yes. there was a prior lawsuit that one that a student won. You, were you sued, or did you sue some students? I, and I did not sue five students. First of all, I sued two students who uh, reneged on their uh, their contracts and basically um, one student I didn't have the contract for right. and then the other one just started crying in court and, and that he, worked yep it worked you got any tears <laughs> <laughs> I could try to work them up right now <laughs> that worked don't tell me was it just a man he was a man yeah there you have it he was a man what, you would have cried or you, or you wouldn't just succumb no, because a woman cried? I might have cried, but I wouldn't have succumbed. I, let me just say something. I so know you. I know you, and I know you'd succumb. Oh, my God. Okay. Completely right. succumb. I agree with you. You are, you, got it. you are the noodle my legs are after a bar class. That's what you are. <laughs> All right. Here's what I'm not understanding, though. What's your game plan? You invested all this time to get the training, but you're not going to get the certification unless you finish up what you agreed, which is you agreed to work off because you didn't pay for it. Mm -hmm. So you have two ways to get your certification. And you're clearly trying to do neither uh, and get your money back. But then what's your plan? Don't you want to get certified? Or you've um, changed I, careers? Unfortunately, uh, the program left such a bad taste in my mouth that I don't want to teach yoga anymore. So here's where we are. Mm -hmm. um, you are unable to prove to me that she's doing something mm -hmm that is against the Alliance standards. In fact, she has given out 100 certifications that mm -hmm. the Alliance has approved. Yeah. You now have a counterclaim against you for $5,000. So why would you get $5,000? How are you out $5,000? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. I'm curious about this. What's better for you if you could only choose one, yoga or weightlifting? What are you saying? Weightlifting, you get more muscles and you bulk up. What do you say? <laughs> Yoga. Why? Actually, because you pretty much stress, you loosen your muscles and it gives it time to grow. And um, it, when you loosen, when you stretch, your muscles grow. Why does he sound much. like such an authority, doesn't <laughs> he? <laughs> it's your voice. You know? Thank you. Wow. Can I just make a suggestion for an advertisement? Seriously? Mr. Clean. <laughs> uh, Mr. Clean. I clean. See, Go, going inside the courtroom. So Nina is a, a playwright and an actor, and I think she might be a comedian also. But I think what happened is a few months into the work study teacher training, she decided that maybe she didn't want to be a yoga teacher or a bar I'm getting teacher. Getting that flavor. Yeah, and um, I think about August, one of my teachers who's doing the work study, who knows Nina, was on a group chat with her, and she started uh, questioning the validity of our training, the value of it, whether it's worth anything, whether it's a, a, a good training, and she started. It, it almost like she was slandering me. Okay, that's not slander. What I'd like to focus on is how you are out $5,000.
in breach of contract. Well, because, but, but, okay, so she left a hole in my schedule. That, that wasn't okay. It took me months to fill that hole. Okay, but you agreed for her to leave the she hole. She didn't give me a choice. She said, she said to me one day, after okay. I, I... All right, you are not entitled to money for holes. I need to know how she breached. And I, so really what okay. I want is the math. Every Monday is worth how five hours 80, times 16? Uh-huh, $80. $80. And Continuing she was, on that trajectory, she would have been paid up when? It was mid, it was April 15th. So 13 times 80 equals 1,040. Okay. Why aren't you suing for 1,040? You, you, you should say, punish you, her more no, than no, what no, you're going to no, be no. out? Because I mean, she changed. Wait a minute. Because she, if she could tell you, look, I can't keep working. I don't want to keep working. What do I owe you? You right. would have said, let's do the math. You owe me 1,040. Then she would have paid you. I wouldn't right. be here, right? Right. Right. Is 1,040 correct that you were going to get your, you were going to finish up by middle April? I you... actually don't have that, but okay, I'm Okay, if you don't have that, then you have yeah. nothing to contest that with. Okay. So then 1,040 would be your damages. Okay. Nina, yes. look at me. Mm -hmm. You're adorable. Thank you. I could listen to you speak and laugh all day, but yes. you're completely out of gas legally here. You're, ju you're not only not entitled to all that money, you've now put me in a position where I have to handle her counterclaim. Had you just walked away, she probably would have just let this go. But since you filed against her, she has now filed against you. Yep. And now she wants her 1,040, she wants a lot more, but she's not gonna get it. But she wants her $1,040 for you to pay, which will then entitle her, if she pays, to have a certification. You are wrong. You are not proving she's doing something wrong. The Alliance has never scolded her for doing something wrong. So on your claim against her, zero. On Ms. McPherson's claim against you, she says you still owe her money. I find you still owe her money. The money that she says you still owe her is $1,040. I am ruling in her favor and ordering you to pay her $1,040. Thank you, Judge. Which then I am also ruling means that you give her the certification in the right two here. classes. Got okay. it? Mm -hmm. That's my ruling. Good luck, okay. folks. Thank well, you. don't hand it to her until she pays. Okay. Hold on. Will do. <laughs> Thank you. Well, in a pretty amazing dispute, the plaintiff has been ordered to pay the defendant $1,040. What do you think about this? I'm a little disappointed, but I, I can see where uh, the judge um, ruled that way. I mean, she gave you every chance to mm -hmm. prove your point, and you just didn't have the ammunition to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, you are going to get the certification, but you said you, weren't, you were turned off by teaching yoga. Why? Um, I, I came to the yoga community thinking that it would be um, sort of a place of solace where we could, um, you know, find spirituality together, and that isn't exactly what I found, so. So that was it? That was it, yeah. Well, you're going to get certified, mm -hmm. okay? So maybe yeah. someday you might teach. Yeah, maybe. Maybe yeah. it'll change. Yeah. The Thank door you. is that way. Thank you very much. All right, Ms. McPherson, this is kind of interesting. Yeah. Did you think it would end up this way yes, or not? I did. You did? Yes. You were on solid ground? I think are, so. are you sure all your teachers are certified and have every kind of yes, certification they, do. they need? Yes, they do. Because yes, she was absolutely. challenging you. Yeah, and she failed it each time. Okay, very good. All right, well, good luck to you. Thank okay? you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. How about that, Harvey? What do you think? Okay, Doug, got to tell you, this is a cautionary tale. You sue somebody, they can always counter sue you, and you could end up being the one on the hook. That will do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.